thought I'd show you a quick tutorial here. Um, I've got this off eBay. It's a um, chocolate transfer sheet. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I've got some candy melts that I've had in the cupboard. So I thought I'll, uh, I might as well use them before the sell by date and just do this quick video for you. I've melted my candy melts in the microwave so as it's gone all soft. I did overheat it a little bit so as it wouldn't uh, go too solid while I'm doing this. But anyway, you get this so as it's the rough side up. And just place it on your baking paper. Um, I've got these little things here, all different sizes, stars and little love arts and what have you because it's coming up to Mother's Day so I thought I'll give it a go so there it goes just put your chocolate on your transfer paper might as well use it now uh, it's only got a couple of months left anyway And just spread it over. Right up to the edges. A bit fiddly. It's the first time I've done this, so you'll have to bear with me. Right up to where it's going. It's actually not a very easy thing to do this. Let's try this to get it equal. set up for a little while and then I will show you what I found was the the best tutorial on the internet that I thought um, I've seen quite a few because I was doing a little bit of research before I started this and thought uh, I don't want to mess it up when I'm doing the first tutorial on it so anyway I'll get all them air bubbles out let it set up a little bit. Make a nice pattern on the back. And then I'll be back in a second. Right, set up a little bit. Um, I've tried my best here. It's not the easiest of stuff to work with, um, it does take a knack. Now I've tried with the little ones here and it's just broken, um, as you can see. Um, and I'm just going to go around with these. And just sort of give it a firm push and it, it does sort of come out. But, um, I'm not telling you. It does stick and it breaks so if you're gonna make these um, I'd have a little practice first before you go ahead and do um, do something like this for a cake I found the best way to do it is to push down hard and ease it up very very slightly because the chocolate sticks to it and once it's stuck, then it's not right good to get it free. Um, I've been printing a bit of icing sugar as well, just to try and 
make it release a bit better. It does sort of help, but not brilliant. As you can see, it's not the best to work with. I don't think I'll be working with this quite often. And because it is uh, not just time consuming, it's annoying more than anything. If there's an easier way, I'll find it, believe me. But I'm not too keen on this stuff. It should really be non-stick, but it isn't. As soon as you press down, it tends to bring it all up. That one's not too bad. That one's broke. That one's broke as well. It's not brilliant stuff this. I don't rate it. Maybe I've done it a bit thin, I don't know, but uh, I would have thought it would come out a little bit better than what it has done. So I'll carry on with this and um, once I've finished I'll uh, put the camera back on and I'll turn it over and we'll see what we've got. Right, I've done it all and I've turned it over and now I've just started to peel this off. It's not very good at all. I don't like this. I might have just used the wrong chocolate. I'm not too sure. But uh, it's not brilliant. <coughs> I'm going to let that bit there dry out a bit more because it looks a bit damp. And let's see what we've got. It's broke. Star. A lot of these are broke. I'm not working on this stuff. <laughs> Don't think I'm buying it again. Well, these aren't too bad. And that's more or less what we've got out of it. Basically, I'm not too thrilled with it. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'll have to have a look and see. 
I'm not sure, but uh, so far I'm not too keen on it. So I wouldn't, uh, if you're just a novice and just starting out, I wouldn't bother. It's not worth it. Thanks for watching. Please leave your feedback below.